Well, the naysayers are naysaying. Yeah. So Wall Street Journal reported last week that, shockingly, the real estate market in the United States has gone down. Number of sales is down considerably from previous years. Are you shocked? Yes, inventory is at its lowest it's been ever in a lot of places all over the US, including here in the South Bay. And yes, mortgage interest rates are at the highest that they've been in 20 some odd years. And they're hovering around the 8% 30 year fixed right now, which is a lot more than it was two years ago. Yes, we know that. All of these outlets are doing these kind of things just to scare the public if you wanna be scared. This is just normal stuff, okay? Let's look at the median price they're putting in giant letters here. <laughs> Numbers, letters, you decide. Does that look anywhere remotely like what a median price would be here in the South Bay? Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, Manhattan Beach, Torrance even. No, it's we haven't seen <laughs> median price for decades. If it doesn't match where you're at, don't listen to the news, okay? Case in point, let's look back at September through September, 22 to 23 this year and to last year, and then September to September, 2021 to 2022, to get a rolling 12 month median price for those three beach cities. Watch this. If we look at Hermosa Beach, and we're looking for the rolling 12 months from September 22 to September 23, we're looking at the median price just rolling for those 12 months. So you could get a better idea of what median is. And if you look at 22 to 23, the median price in Hermosa Beach was 2.09 million. And if we look back a year further, it was 2.1. So it looks like it's down 2.1%. And if we go to Manhattan Beach and we take a look at the same thing there in 22 to 23 September to September, it's 2.9 million. And the previous year it was 3.2. So it looks like that was maybe down 3%. Now, if we look at Redondo Beach, the median price, 22 to 23, was 1.45. And we go back a year previously, it's 1.443. It's up a little bit in Redondo Beach. That's great. We really can't get a good, solid eye on what's happening because we have to look at the number of units that were sold because it's going to be different between that September of 21 to 22 compared to September 22 to this last September. Let's take a look. All right, since we're still on Redondo, let's just look at that. It, it's 549 in the previous year, it was 836. Okay, that's, uh, that's a big difference. If we look at Manhattan Beach, 277 versus 420 in the previous year. Another big giant jump. If we look at Hermosa Beach, it's 176 to 243. Can we agree that 2021, was an insane real estate year. We all know it, it was insane. We sold more houses than we've ever sold before. Prices were going up 20, 25%, 20% in a lot of neighborhoods. It was just gonzo nuts. So since we can agree that that was an anomaly of a year, let's stop comparing it, anything to that number because you can't compare because of course everything is down because of course we're doing less because we did more. Does that make sense? So let the naysayers say nay. You just say, nay, I will not naysay the naysayers. I don't know. So what do we learn here? Quit watching the news. Don't pay attention to any national stats. Only when I'm talking to you about what's local because that's all that matters.